This is a demo of a REST application. This application allows user to interact with RESTful web services. Let's fill the URL of our service. There are a couple of more parameters. Authentication, we will not use it for this demo. HTTP headers, we will not use them for this demo. And uh, URL parameters. Using here, user can add some additional session-specific URL parameters, which will be used for every request. Let's start the session. This is the REST session window. Using this window, user can send HTTP requests. Here, using user can select an HTTP method to use. User can use a different URL. And here, user can set HTTP URL parameters. So let's set some of them. User can also add parameters using URL edit box. URL edit box and uh, these parameters table are synchronized. When user changes value of parameters here, the parameters in tables are updated, and vice versa. When a user is changing parameters in the table, the URL is updated. On this tab, user can specify HTTP request body. I will show you how it works later. On this tab, user can specify authentication options. We don't need them for this demo. And here is a tab for HTTP headers. Let's send our request. Oh, this is a response from the remote system. REST application autom automatically analyzes response and determines what what it is. Is it a single value? Is it a list of name value pairs or is it a table? In that case it parses response and outputs corresponding textual representation. User can always turn that off by checking this checkbox. In uh, this case out it will print the raw output. For this case, it's XML. The response section also contains HTTP headers tab. It's a headers which were returned by the remote system. Also, user can check this checkbox to include HTTP headers into textual representation of response. This is how it works. Let's try a different HTTP method. It's post. This service is located under different URL. Let's paste the request body and send this request. See the response. The request history section allows user quickly pick up some of previous requests. For example, this one. Okay, that's it.